Ha! I see blessings. But who knows? I've been mean, no one look too serious if I wanted to come with a makeup artist. You see yourself in my eyes. Hi, my name is Evie Pre. Is that okay? My name is the crazy one. It's okay. Mm. <laughs> Hello guys, this is Real Talk once again. My name is Henry Kalama Jr. You heard that right? My name is Henry Kalama Jr. You know, just before we talked about crazy exes with the real gang. Now, did I forget something? I think I did. Say hello to my real gang. Uh, my name is Ebi Bomo Kelvin. My name is Walter Wisdom Barala De, musically known as Wolzi. Away Grigi Wolwa, see blessings. I love boy. That's my name. Uh, if you ask all over the world, uh, they call me the crazy one on radio. The man never likes in the bone. I'm the chief pilot inside talking matter. The president of the Momo Republic and the flag bearer of the number one party of the whole wide world. Talking about the birthday party. As far as you get birthday, you are under me. I'm your president. Oh, yeah, nah. If you call me Uncle J, if you call me Crazy Jenkins, anyone you call me, I balance like balance like two four seven. My name is Ibrahim Momo. Momo what? I will never get it right. Okay. okay, hi guys, my name is Numo. And um, that's, that's just my name. Hello, I'm Bumo Iwikwofa Kelvin by birth, aka King Killer. I'm an entrepreneur, a rapper, and a goosey soup addict. And okay, sometimes I get my screws loose, so yeah, I'll stop the introduction there. So it's good. It's welcome. Hi, my name is Ebi Pre, Peculia Francis Omolo. But you can call me the Dainty Duchess on radio. Who is a crazy ex-girlfriend or if I have a crazy ex-girlfriend? Oh, it's kind of very long, so I'm Why like didn't I just give one? Why did I see everything? Your name is Shota. My name is not Shota. Yes, it is. Why? Is there money involved? Okay, as I was saying, last time we talked about crazy exes and due to popular demand, your demand, we had to give you guys a little bit more about crazy exes from of course the real gang now without much ado let's head over to the real gang and find out more on what they have to say about this crazy topic crazy ex I'm asking you know who's a crazy ex who's a crazy ex uh -huh. a crazy ex girlfriend hmm. I should call her name okay a uh, crazy ex now Gary or girl or boy, yeah. we when I don't break up, or you see the one cause problem inside your present relationship. That person decreased now. I have no idea. I've never experienced that before. Yeah, because you don't leave them. The matter don't end. You see the good spirit on for our side. That person a mad person, so you can call that one a crazy ex. Probably the one that stalks you. Um, that question, I would say. They both side, even the one with this, they're crazy, and the ones we don't depart, seven, they're crazy. You understand? Oh, wait, sorry, wait, is this like a girl? Nope, this is like a girl. <laughs> <laughs> a crazy ex. I think I'm a crazy ex is an ex that don't want to remain an ex. My own craziness, I they always see from the spark of their love. But I would say. Someone who's obsessive, and I've had that before. That won't just let go. It's it's over. But just let go. But you know, just they're always in your space. They tell you what to do. Are you dating this person now? Do you think he's better than me? Definitely crazy, in my opinion. Like they don't do the mathematics for body. The X now just X. But then you keep popping into people's life, trying to destroy whatever is going on. Trying to collect some ex, some girlfriend benefits. Yeah, it don't make sense. Let me go outside. <laughs> now your ex okay, that, that okay. is mad. How do, how do you describe okay, her? A crazy ex. Can I give an instance? Okay. There was this uh, there was this couple on on Twitter. They they dated for a while, and when the guy broke up with her, the girl came to the house and trashed the house, like broke the TV. Um, broke his he had this uh, shelf that contained all his awards he, she destroyed everything he broke his pc okay, i think, I I think that. that's a crazy ex you know those things they really make me they lie most times you know they always they lie because i fear their reactions to the truth you understand so my ex they're very crazy 
but mostly i would say their their craziness they show from their expression of love and trying to protect me you know i never did get away no one owned me like no one bear the name walter wisdom you know what it is <laughs> I think, yeah, I think I don't know if someone can be crazier than that, but yeah, that's just a crazy ex for me. I don't think I've ever dated a girl that I, that I've not been extremely in love with me. Yeah, and it's the craziness comes from their their excessive protection, like they want to protect me, you know. No, no. I, I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, I know there are plenty crazy ex, plenty. Plenty. Yeah. My, my, my exes or my ex wasn't crazy. He's not crazy, so. Like I said, not outright, but I've had somebody get obsessed and things that they can tell me what to do or how to move on with my life. I think I've had a crazy ex. Um, Though the person wasn't physical, but the person didn't go physical, okay. physically mad. But this person was a psychopath. No, no. Unfortunately for me. You that is beyond crazy. Psychopath is like. <laughs> 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 she she was, didn't kill she somebody. Was, like, I've been in church for the past how many weeks now, and the pastor has been talking about wicked and unreasonable people. That person was wicked and unreasonable. Mm -mm. So I think that's that's that defines um Tell us um, one thing. What did you call mm -hmm. this person? Yes, I want to hey, know what she did. That's me. Can, can we just go there for like two seconds? <laughs> can we just not go there? Uh, I like to experience things. Everything. I wish you won't be that. I'm thinking too much, no, this will cause a problem because I have only a few exes and there is one who Anytime she sees me, she wants to bring an emotional blackmail and I don't get crazy ex. They are over me. I'm, I'm over them. No ex. Is. Yes, if you're observant, you can. <sighs> mm, from their boldness. Um, someone's craziness, it depends on what. You know, there's a cool crazy and then there's a cocoa crazy. You want my car explain that they come beat me later? No, 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 no. If I talk to you, they do. They go listen and they do that thing. They will find me. They come beat me. So I know they talk that one. Uh, you could that. Thing, yes, I think, I think I, yes. If you read between the lines, I think you could pick it. Yeah, I'm really listening. Yeah, if you, if you really listen. Toxic exes, of course. That's what you would have said. So what are the signs? Are you knowing this person's crazy? I think when people gaslight you, you know it's gaslighting guy, and then they're narcissistic. You know. Those tendencies just look for a way to come out one way or the other. No matter how much they, how long they pretend, it just comes out. You can't see it just by looking. You have to engage them in conversations, and then you use your five and six to know. You know, some boldness can be too excessive. You know, boldness suppose come from, um, let's say. You get to find out the guy properly, but you know some some the ones you see then they bold and just first attack. You know, I I get to know that a lot from their first approach towards me. You know, so if it's that cool crazy, I think I have it in me already. But then the other level of crazy is okay when she wants to like oh who's that on the phone and yeah yeah I can I can I can notice it from my way yeah, yeah crazy. Uh, I think yes, but a lot of people can pretend and act like they're normal. So, I mean, you can definitely might miss the craziness. But what's your definition of crazy? How do you mean the crazy, crazy, good, crazy or crazy, bad, crazy? Like I can kill you in your sleep, crazy. The craziest thing. Uh, what was your skill of measuring crazy because some could stab you? The craziest thing we, my ex don't do it. Nah. This girl, she... I will talk about two things. She she don't love me, rich web, say. At some point, she don't know what she won't do, so she just one day carry resolve tear my body. 
Like, um, showing up in my place uninvited. As some you can. But some people now, when you don't, they friend them. And you're going to Chris. Now you're the friend sisters. Now not be human, be the friend. Now Chris, the friend sisters. And then, would you say that's the craziest song could set your car ablaze? They could switch, uh, set your certificates ablaze. Some could even drown you and your new girlfriend. So it depends on what you measure your crazy on. I can't say personally what the craziest thing a crazy ex can do, but kill you. Hmm. <sighs> well, <clears throat> I hope I never experience a crazy ex. But the craziest thing a crazy ex can ever do to me. Ah, kill me. That's extreme, man. I don't, I don't want to think of yeah, that. Yeah, could poison you. You could die. That's really, really extreme, but I mean, trash my wedding. <laughs> <laughs> and not minding who is there with me at that moment, and you just want to bring your own wahala and press him to get some benefits. <laughs> um, hold the knife against me. Yeah, some people need a quick come aside. So on the whole, so on that first day, uh, they are on the come aside. Oh, okay. Publish my nude online. Have you ever? Have you ever? Yeah, that's yes. That's, I've, that's I've, 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 I've had a friend tell me that oh, her ex when they broke up, he like put her nudes online with her account, like with her Facebook account. He put everything online. So oh my god, if someone does that to me right now, I'll be like, make the ground swallow me, make I go. <laughs> Well, it's, it happens, it happens, it's not me. Another one was when my ex, she she called me like, well, like she don't call me, call me, call me till she know she gets me, my phone was like always off. So when she tried to get me, I explained to her, I said, my, my phone is down because my charger is bad. And the next thing, as she did come like this, she did carry more than two charger, they come. <laughs> So that is one, those are the two craziest things I've seen from my exes. Okay, I remember one, when I did university. She don't slap me, lock me inside a room, dial me two times, one got a bottle. I got a fear for my life. Innocent me, we never hot fly before. I humble. Then when she come, release me. My guys, they ask I do, they wash you. What she going to release me now? Come, come myself for side the ass. I can't carry my load. I call you go. <laughs> I know she now going to cry. Me come beg. What's I know they do again? Eh, because she's a violent person. I mean, I know I'm a violent person, so I know few friend person they beat me. Hmm. <laughs> I don't think I've ever broken up with a girl. Slowly. You just take two steps back and try to watch the person fade away. Cut contact off. Try not to meet up. Try not to talk too much. Just allow the person to fade off. And then, but if they know you're the same, a problem with that. Change your address. You go about that totally now. You go block out for every year for this life. Um. You could kill them. No, I don't want to kill anyone. <laughs> Please. <laughs> I don't want to be the crazy one here. <laughs> like, oh, I will kill you if you don't come back to me. Honey, listen, we be all crazy before we found Jesus. Try me, beloved. Well, I believe you should know if you've been with a person, you should know how the person behaves, thinks, reacts and stuff. So only the person that's in that shoe can actually give a definite answer. I can't tell you, do this, try A, try B pointless okay um this is uh my truth and even though truth is not sellable as lies these days uh, truth has never lost its value i've never broken up with a girl but the three girls i've deliberately dated for i would say i never did get even reach one year so it's always above two years like that i would say they left Block as in, what I say everywhere, block her everywhere for the life. Any take of you make you get contact with her, you block them. And the only way. And because some people say they don't get rid of them. They go see they want you go, you see they want check on the girl. Person you say they don't leave, you see they want they want check on her. I think they want check on her phone. 
that's much that you want to and she don't come into your life again. So your blocker, your come on your mind, say nothing. If you approve it, if 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 she want to you with maybe cash or something, you go collect her. You don't enter on that problem again. So just block her for anywhere. Make sure no care any mistake enter your life again. That's the only way. Well, you know because I like doing my things um um reasonably. So I will be reasonable and grown up. Since the person wants to be crazy and mad, I'll try to you know just take it slowly with them. Wait. I said kill them. No, I don't, I don't. I don't want to think. I don't want to kill them. I'll just. I'll just. I'll just. I'll just. You know, enter into their head. I mean, I feel like we're actually in together. But meanwhile, I'm actually withdrawing away from them, like little by little, by little, by little. Before they know it, I'm like gone. You know, they always. They always leave at the end of the day. Maybe then few say, uh, "This guy time. He got us a deal." <laughs> but uh, that is a good one because. We, we always broke up peacefully and it's my time now. So the woman right now is going to be my wife. Just block you and pray about it. Like I said, I found Jesus. So I'd block you and pray about it because you really don't know the level of crazy. It could be clinical craziness and you don't even know that. It could be outright mental problems and you don't know that. Except it's kind of, kind of crazy then. I like it because he actually has money and he can just be obsessed. <laughs> Okay guys, you said from the real gang about crazy exes. Now before I move on, do not forget to follow me on my social media platform. My DMs are wide open, just slide in there of course. And also, if you want to be part of my real gang, comment on the DMs and of course, you can be part of my, my real gang. Okay, you know how to just simple thing. Okay, until next time, I remain your humble host. In fact, catch me same time on this same space next week for another gripping, incredible episode of Real Talk. Yeah.